please welcome Mr. Raymond Burns. You're mad bastard. So you're on the run, are you? You broke out of the H blocks and now you're here. They've had a peace process. You know you can go back and be psychotic criminals again. Your mental cases. And because I did a gig in Belfast. I did a gig in Belfast and I'm from Glasgow. And I did a gig and we went for afternoon tea at the Europa. Me and my girlfriend, right, we went for afternoon tea and it was 40 pounds. No wonder it's the most bombed hotel in fucking Europe. <laughs> 40 pounds for a cup of tea. And I'm trying to be all aggressive. 40 pounds for a cup of tea. Get yourself to fuck. But in Ireland I just sound like a big gay bar loiterer. 40 pounds for a fucking cup of fucking tea. You've got fucking 50 minutes to get fucking out there. <laughs> Stick your tea up your fucking ass. He'll fucking put a fucking bullet in your fucking knee, you fucking fucker, yeah. And I'm not even a terrorist. I'm just the guy with a coffee shop. <laughs> you fucking crazy motherfuckers. That's for you, that's for your dog. That sounds far more scary. So have you got a job over here, you big mad Irish person? No, no, you're just living off the heroin money, are you? Good for you. And fucking drug dealer, are you? Fucking drug dealer. Hey, would you like to buy some fucking drugs? Aye, sure, give them, pal. I'm fucking shite myself. Right, good. So what do you, what do you do? What do you, how do you? You're a drug dealer. Well, what are you selling? Sorry? You can't see. Just, you're down the front, I can lip read. Right, just do the actions. Is it. Or is it this? Or is it this? Is that a bit of nose candy, is it? Oh. No, good for you. Good, because a man's got to have worthwhile profession. Good stuff. And good. Good, it's all went a bit fucking weird now. You see, because we have some older people in. We have some older people in the going, What are they talking about, Kane? I have no idea, Sheena. They're talking about drugs. He was talking about tea. I was really listening there. Because we like tea, Sheena, don't you? You know, before we have a pump, we have a cup of tea. And after we have a pump, we have a cup of tea. So you need to watch. Anyway, good. So you should blink more often. It'd make you seem less of a psycho. <laughs> if you're really enjoying the show, do this. Did you fucking tell me you were funny? <laughs> anyway, good to see you. See the Irish right down the front. Don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> Climbing over the peace wall. So are you from Belfast as well, madam? I <laughs> uh, fucking right you are. My ass. It's an Irish term for I doubt the credulity of your statement. <laughs> She is in her fucking bollocks. Anyway, so I was 18 stone. <laughs> I was 18 stone, right? And I lost four stone. Thank you, ladies, yeah. <sighs> Am I going to save 2,000 back tonight? Unlikely. Hey, you would fucking have to pay me. <laughs> oh, and you fucking heckle me, bitch. <laughs> 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 
you can teach me to swim because I can't swim no you're probably wondering how I lost all the weight well I'm going to tell you fucking I'm going to tell you before some of these old age pensioners get any older they're going to go fuck's sake Sheena I need a cup of tea it's taken fucking ages <laughs> it'll be stewed by now the tea bag's been in the pot for six minutes <laughs> Take your fucking tea and stick it up your fucking ass. <laughs> I've no idea why I do that. No, so I lost four stone and you're gonna you're gonna wonder why, right? Basically I'm gonna tell you. My wife left me. Yeah. What do you mean yes? It was fucking hey, hey, it was bad. It was bad because I was sitting there for a month thinking I haven't had my dinner for a while. <laughs> Fuck off. I never heard what you said, I couldn't hear you. No, you know what happened was my children, my children grew up and finally fucked off. And so the wife went she looked at me and said, well, I'm no staying here with that cunt. <laughs> Don't be offended at the C word. It's a Scottish word that means a person. <laughs> Don't be offended. <laughs> you can't do that joke in America. Hey, buddy, step back from that bird. That is the T word. You cannot say that bird. That is unwanted oral intrusion. Because I play in America as well, you know. I get about people and I can't even speak English. Yeah, baby. So it's nice to be here in Thailand. It's, it's nice, you know. Because I'm getting about a bit in that, ladies. I'm kind of getting international. I'm a man of the world now. I know things. You know what I mean? And then I'll go back home and I'll be burnt as a fucking witch. Because I've learned things about this world. And it's an amazing, it's an amazing world we live in, right? It's an amazing world because back in Glasgow, back in Glasgow, fucking nothing's happening, man. Nothing's happening, just a load of drugs. Just a load of drugs. I live in an area associated with drugs. I don't know about you, sir, right, where you come from. But if you're from an area associated with drugs, people would tend to presume that you are, how shall I put it, a wee bit chemically inconvenienced yourself of an evening. Because <laughs> I went on stage one night, I come from a place called Parkhead. Have you heard of Parkhead? I never said I was the fucking Pope. I've got to live somewhere. Thanks very much. But I come from Parkhead, right? Famous for Celtic Football Club, but also famous for drugs. And I went on stage one night in Glasgow and I went, Hello there, everybody. My name's Raymond and I'm from Parkhead. I've never done it quite as gay as that. I've never done it. <laughs> I've been heckled by a gay man and I've turned into a big gay boy. I'm camp as fuck now. Look at my tight trousers, look. <laughs> Ladies. Hey, and I went, Hello, everybody. My name's Raymond, and I'm from Parkhead. And this guy at the back of the room stood up and went, You fucking junkie! <laughs> a junkie? A junkie? When have you ever seen a 14 stone junkie? <laughs> I mean, who was heckling me? Fucking Ray Charles. <laughs> when have you ever seen a junkie this size? According to this maniac, either... I was 48 stone when I started taking heroin. <laughs> or I'm injecting myself with lure pack spreadable. <laughs> Fucking crazy! So, doesn't always go well. Did you enjoy Phil? <laughs> Good. That's life. It happens. It happens, ladies and gentlemen, because everybody, no matter how good you are, every comedian has absolutely died on his arse. 
And it's the most excruciating experience in your life, right? It's, it's torture. And I, I have the unique distinction of dying in my arse so badly one night that I have a legendary heckle attributed just to me. What happened, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you the story of one night when I died in my arse at the Edinburgh Festival in 1997. I was a big fat bastard then. And just as funny. But this particular night... <laughs> will you fucking use consonants? <laughs> fucking hell. You'd be great at countdown. Vowel, 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 vowel. My hubby here. Nine points. Forgive me, because even the mentally ill do need entertained. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm going to have a fucking word with your carer. <laughs> did you see what I did there?